Let's start by looking at the GOES X-ray flux chart for solar flares. The two largest spikes are the first near X-class flare we reported yesterday morning. The second large spike is another near X-class flare event that happened yesterday. And there was a smaller but long duration flare event just this morning on the right. NOAA has analyzed the first near X-class flare. It produced a faint CME, which could deliver a glancing blow tomorrow night. But it's not the only thing we have coming. Let's watch the second big flare, which happened yesterday. This one appears to have produced a CME as well. And while no endless spirals are updated for this one, the coronagraph seemed to show another eruption, a halo event. And so that means we could have two on the way. But that wasn't all, because that weaker but longer duration flare event this morning included several pops near center disk. And while discerning between them when it comes to the coronagraphs is challenging, it does appear we have yet a third event that could be coming our way, all expected to impact this weekend and into Monday. None of them are huge, but a triple hit or even a double if only two make impact should drive geomagnetic storms and of course, We've still got a lot to be watching today as well as the sunspots are still large and obviously quite active. Eyes on our star and on the solar wind over the weekend. Folks, a tropical storm is roaring to life just off the east coast. It is slated to head northward and make impact in North Carolina, followed by Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. Eyes open as that event ramps up tomorrow as well.